Are there any regulars that come often that you guys have developed like relationships with? Um, we have a lot of regulars here. Um, to be honest, I don't think that the, uh, the some of our staff who work the front uh, like really have developed um, relationships with a lot of the customers um, in a way that I, you know, Wendy and I tend to be more behind the scenes, and so these days I, we don't have them as much. But you know, we have um, several people who come in for their New York Times every day, and um, we love them. And, I don't know if I was just out them by saying their names or not, um, but yeah. So we definitely have regulars, and, and we also have some characters that come in that are regulars. Oh, too. definitely. <laughs> we have eccentrics, we have eclectics, we have, and we have. What's kind of neat is we have people who have personal relationships with each one of our employees. So we have some people who have developed really strong relationships with Jill or with Sean or with Megan. And um, and that's pretty cool. I mean, incredibly close relationships, friend, long, long-standing friendships. Yeah. Um, what do you guys most enjoy about your job? Uh, I well, a couple things. I, lo I love because in the same way that we we're saying that we have regulars that we love and that we think of, you know, they're really a part of the store. Like, there's working at this store is different than. Um, other retail because I think that you build community just by those connections and so I really like just the, the openness that the store feel has I guess um, and then I also just like being surrounded by books so that's my other favorite part I'm always thinking that there's something else I'm gonna read even though I never do <laughs> yeah and with me it's 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 the books and and it is the gathering place aspect of it I love to be in a place where people have come to find out something new or learn something new or see something new and um, and yeah the books you can't beat the books is there a special reason why you guys chose to open your shop in Santa Cruz ah uh, see we didn't open it we um, oh which, um, which is fine yeah. but, this, but, um, but I think that the reason that we chose to be here is because um, we had been working, both of us had been working here for almost a decade at that point, I guess. Yeah, a long time. Um, for the, own, the previous owners, and when they were ready to retire, uh, we couldn't bear the idea of not having the bookstore here and thought that we could keep it going by t by taking on the ownership. So that's why in Santa Cruz. <laughs> that's exactly. Why this store's been here for 32 years. So it's been here for a long, long time. And we just have been sort of, in a lot of ways, we think about it like caretakership. In a lot of ways, that's really how I think of it, that we just sort of stepped in as caretakers for the place. But, you know, it had been owned for many, many years previous to us coming here. But it is true, the, the, the owners wanted to retire, and there was a really um, strong possibility that the store was going to close as a result of it, and we just couldn't bear to see that happen. So that's why we that's why we stepped in as as the new as the new caretakers because we wanted to be sure it would it would be around. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, you can cut all the stuff that I say yeah. and then just keep no. the stuff that she's saying. No, 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 not at all, not at all. <laughs> yeah, no, not even. Um. Well. Sorry. Um. Is there anything you guys like would like to add that you would want? people to know about the bookstore? Uh, gosh, I can't think of anything really pithy or brilliant yeah. or smart or I can't think of a not, I know that it would be great to have a little tagline about sort of the bookstore. I mean the only thing I would say about, about bookstores in general is that you only need to walk into one and look